Whether you're a freelancer or working as part of a remote working team, tracking how much time you spend on a project is vital for good project management and knowing how much you should charge for your services. In this video, we're going to look at the free time tracking software Toggle. Let's jump into it. When you first sign into Toggle, you'll be taken to the timer page. As this is a brand new account, we haven't got any times recorded yet. But in the future, this will log all the time that we have tracked through the app. So what I suggest doing first is going over to a client on the left hand menu. And at the top, there's plus new client and type in who you're currently working for. For me, that's myself and press create. Now you can have multiple clients, whether that's different businesses you work for or different clients that you sell to. For example, if I was working with my agency as well, I could type them in and I could track what projects I'm doing for me and what projects I'm doing for them. Now we have our client set up. We'll want to add projects to each client. So click projects in the left hand menu there. And at the top of the page, you'll see this new project button. Click on that and then name your project. I'm going to call mine demo videos. Our workspace at the moment, we've just set up one workspace and it's automatically set up under the name of on my email address, which was demo. I could choose a client. Now, is the, are these projects for Joel Buckland or We Do Stories? These are for myself. So I choose my client now and I can press create project. And that's all created. I could do the same again. Say uh, blog writing. And then we can choose the color. Let's, let's make that one a purple. And that will be for my company, create. As you can see here, the project name, the client. At the moment, we haven't created any times for them. And the team is my demo team. The next feature we may want to set up before we start tracking times is tags. Let's click that on the left hand menu. Now tags are good for tracking the type of work you're doing across clients. That perhaps could be sales or for me, if I'm working on SEO for my website or SEO for my company's website or for a client's website. I can track how much time I spend on SEO altogether, how much time I've spent on sales, how much time I'm spending in meetings with my team. We could do that simply by the top here, adding a new tag. And let's call this one sales. And again, we can have multiple tags going on. Video, you might want to say social ads. Another thing we, we supply. Now I can track those across every project and every client. Now though, we'll go back to the timer page. And you'll see at the top of the timer page, it says, what are you working on? If you click on that, type what you're working on. So we're currently recording a video. And this is where everything we've set up comes into play. So the folder button lets us select a project. These projects are already connected to a client. We're working on a demo video. We could choose tags. So let's choose the video tag. If we had the upgraded version of Toggle, we'd be able to work out if these are billable hours or not. But as this is the free version, it won't let us create that just yet. But what we can do is press this big green button to track the time. Now you can see the clock counting up here. And we'll let that go for a couple of seconds. And once we've done our work and we've decided we've finished recording the video, we can press the stop button and it will record it on the timer page here. So this week, We've logged 15 seconds overall. We can see that it's been for demo videos for myself. We can see the time that I've recorded this was 3.01 p.m. And how long for? 
Another way of setting up everything that we've just done using the side menu here is actually if we just go back to the top of the timer page and click on that, we might want to say editing videos. And instead of picking from the list, we can create a new project from here. And let's say, uh, let's just call this video editing for now. I know that's not technically a different project as such. Still in the same workspace, and I'm still going to choose me as a client. I can, if I want here, add a new client just by clicking the button at the bottom there. I'm going to choose myself. It's a private project, create. Still a video project, and I can start the timer once again. Now I'm tracking a second task. Once I've completed that, You'll see I've got these two records here, one for 15 seconds, one for six seconds. But overall, I've worked 21 seconds. Of course, your times will be much longer than that. We're just doing this as a demo. Now we've only recorded for 15 seconds and six seconds, but let's say I forgot to set the timer. I can click on the time here and let's pretend I have been working on that since 12. Press enter and it will change that to say I've been working in it for three hours. You can do the same by clicking on the time and that, so that wasn't six seconds, that was 12 seconds. I can change that there or I can say, change that to 14 minutes, 12 seconds. And as you can see, it adds up at the top here saying that I've been working for three hours and 40 minutes. If I'd like to see a report across my customers and my projects, I just need to click the report button in the top left menu here. And you can see, as we've only recorded today, not our recording for today, but this would stretch right across the week. And you can change that to choose the time period you'd like, or you can choose just today, this month, and of course, we'd have much more data in here. If I'd like to find out how much I've worked for a singular client in this time, let's say I just wanted to redo stories. Well, I haven't worked for them yet. So it would show I haven't done anything or for myself. It will show how much time I've worked for myself and I can clear that at the top. If I've forgotten to put a customer in, or a client in, I can click projects without a client, but I haven't got any of those at the moment either. The same can be done with projects, so I can see how long I've spent on the demo videos project by simply choosing that from the menu. It will show me here, I, I spent three hours on that one. If I take that one off and put the video editing project, you'll see 40 minutes on that one. And this would show me across the month or the week In there. Now, if you want to find out how much time you're spending in meetings and on sales compared to how much you're getting paid, simply click tags. You can choose your sales or your meetings uh, tag, and it would show up there. I've not done any sales in this account, so we don't see anything, but this would track it. This is great for understanding how much you need to charge people based on how much time it's taken to come in as well as the time doing the work. You need to make sure your time is covered for both. One feature I haven't gone over yet is Teams. You click the team button, you can invite people to your team. For the free plan, you can have a maximum of five members, but you can upgrade if you need more than this. And what this allows you to do is track your time as a group. You create groups, you can create activities. You'll be able to see data on, say, if our graphic designer and our copywriter have been working on a project together, how much each of those have spent on that project. We can collect all that data together. So that was my walkthrough of Toggle. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on branding, marketing, and digital transformation, click that subscribe button. And I hope to see you next time.